Hey, good morning. I pray you're doing well. And you could probably hear the, the calmness, hear the birds and even some roosters in the distance. You know, the day will come when this silence will be shattered with a shout and the sound of the trumpet blast of the Lord. And I <clears throat> I just want to encourage you in these final minutes, these final moments of of humanity, of the earth as we know it, that the time is now to to fully surrender to the Lord. You know, we all uh, we all hold on to things of this world. There's all every one of us have something that we that we hold dear as an idol, or maybe even as a um, just something we won't let go of. I just want to encourage you to let go of everything, every part of this world, and to fully focus your affection, your attention, your whole life on Jesus Christ, because He is the only one who can and will save you if you so, if you so choose to be saved. Because being being saved, being rescued, being a follower of Him, his of him it is a choice and I always encourage everybody within the sound of my voice to choose wisely for the consequences are very severe if you make the wrong choice if you choose this world if you choose to trust in this world or trust in science or to trust in man for we are to only trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. For the Father gave us to Him. And all those who so choose Him will enter in, but you must make that choice and you must be committed to Him. It's not about saying a couple words and just going on living your life any way you want. That is actually anti-biblical. This is about a committed life, a relationship with your Lord and Savior, not about a religion or a church, but between you and Him and Him alone. For when you stand before Him, it'll be just you and Him. You know, as we see everything happening, we see an escalation, and quite honestly, now as we sit back and, and view and witness the book of Revelation unfolding before our very eyes, what are we going to do? Are we just going to sit back and keep our mouths shut? Or are we going to talk to people around us about what's happening? You know, we got things flying overhead We've got our leadership completely submitted and fully committed to the beast system and trying to manipulate and control every part of your life. And many just allow it to happen and they act, of it, they act as if it's not a big deal. It is a very big deal. When that eastern sky splits and the Lord appears... It'll be too late at that point. When the trumpet blast occurs, it will be too late. So right now, today is the day. Today is a day to fully commit and surrender your life to the Lord. It's kind of interesting that even when I say words like this, there are those that call themselves within the body of Christ to get angry. Because I'm trying to encourage fellow believers to recommit their life and also those who do not know Jesus Christ to give their life to the Lord. 
You know, like I mentioned before, many, even within the body of Christ, that call themselves within the body of Christ, are holding on so tightly to this world or to their religion or to their church <clears throat> that they are viewing everything through rose-colored glasses, that they are partially blinded, partially deaf. They know a little bit of the Word. They see a little bit what the Lord's doing. But because of their religion or their tie to this world, they are being misled and deceived. Don't be deceived. Jesus Christ has been warning people. He has been bringing dreams and visions. He's brought me several dreams and visions. And yet many within who call themselves in the body of Christ are fighting against the warning that is going out. The warning of his soon return, the warning of even what went out over the past couple of years when the mark of the beast started to, to go forth around the world, there are many still that are kind of fighting this. You have to remember that the world is operating under the beast system. Our, our once great nation is operating under the beast system, for we are mystery Babylon. Scripture is very clear that we, Mystery Babylon, will be destroyed first. And I challenge you to go and take a look at why that happens and all the events that lead up to that. But this message is an encouragement. You know, you have every opportunity when you go to the gas station and you know, the, the guy pumping gas next to you, speak to him about the Lord. He may even say something first, like, man, these gas prices are high. And you say, yeah, end of days. We are in the end of days. This has been called out within Scripture, and you'll have an opportunity to speak to that individual. Or you're in the store, and, uh, and uh, you know, you go to buy something that at one time was literally three, four, maybe even five times less expensive just last year at this time. And the conversation can be struck and up. And they complain about the price of eggs or, or whatever it is. And you say, yeah, it's because the Lord foretold about all these events that will take place because we are at the end of time. Use every opportunity to witness. Show the love of Jesus Christ to the world. Entertain strangers because you may be entertaining angels. I myself have had multiple angelic encounters that I've posted on this channel. And it is to act as a witness to what the Lord is doing within the earth. It is your choice. Friends, family, loved ones, Anybody within the sound of my voice, it is your choice. It is a choice if you choose Jesus Christ. And he wants everyone to choose him. That's why he's giving everyone an opportunity, and that's why he's letting everyone know. Everyone. Don't be misled. He is letting everyone know. And yet many still refuse him. Or they think they have time. Or they completely reject him. And maybe even some even just actually just hate him. Because they think that our enemy is the good guy. When all it is is deception. We are so close to the very end. Jesus Christ has been warning. He's been warning. He's, he's been bringing things to me for the past uh, seven years to, to tell the world, to warn people about, to warn of what's going to happen, what's going to take place. And yeah, I've been, I've been mocked and scoffed, but you have to remember that those people are just fulfilling Scripture. So if you're warning people and you got mockers and scoffers, even within your own family, because trust me, I have mockers and scoffers within my very family. The ones who I love the most. And they are just fulfilling scripture.
everything you see before me will be gone. The things you are holding on to will be no more. They will no longer exist. Your only hope you have is Jesus Christ, and yet many, many still mock and scoff, and many, that again, call themselves in the body of Christ, just even get angered over these biblical truths in which I speak of. You know, messages like this during the tribulation will be probably held in underground churches because this forum will probably be removed or changed. These messages like this will not be allowed to be public about warning of the Lord's soon return, about warning of what is to come, about the beast system fully coming to fruition during the time of the tribulation. Because this time in which we live is about changing the image of God, image of the Father, how he made you into the beast and into his image, thus becoming a wild beast of the earth. You do not have to go into the tribulation. You do not have to go into the lake of fire because all those who do not follow Jesus Christ will end up in the lake of fire. That is just the truth. And also those who disobey him, so they do know him, but disobey him. So I challenge you to, to do a deep dive in that because many just seem to gloss over these key passages of scripture that are very hard to, well, they're, they're very hard to admit to. Yes, he is all loving. Of course he's all loving. That's why he's giving us every opportunity. That's why he's telling us. That's why he's warning us. That's why he's in sign after sign after sign everywhere you look. From the sky to the sun, moon, and stars to the distress of nations to the wars and rumors of wars to the dreams and visions to his very word that has told us over and over and over about what is to take place. And yet still mockers and scoffers come, but again, they are just fulfilling scripture. When the sound of the trumpet happens, it'll be too late for those who refused or ignored or turned their back on Jesus Christ or just think they could live any way they want because that is not even biblical to live any way we want. We are to follow him live a redemptive, sanctified, and holy life, to live a life exerting this fruit of the Spirit, to telling others. Jesus Christ himself says, hey, look, uh, if you tell the people about me, I'll tell my Father about you. And if you deny me before the people, I will deny you before my Father. Listen. Please hear this message. Jesus Christ loves you. Run to him. Cry out to him. His arms are open. He is knocking on the door of your heart. Open the door to him. Take the narrow path to Jesus Christ. Do not take the wide path to destruction. Many are going to destruction. And use this same message. Allow the Holy Spirit to operate through you. And use what the Holy Spirit tells you to speak to other people, to speak to other people, please. We're in the final moments. Everything is happening at breakneck speed. Jesus Christ is coming. He is coming. He is coming. Please follow him. Please go to him. Please cry out to him right now. I pray you hear this message. It's in Jesus' precious it's in Jesus Christ's precious and holy name that I pray, and I send this message. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye-bye.